I tried to pop it, it didn't work. Decide nonsense. So you just feel like sh <laughs> Hi everyone. So today I'm just like feeling, feeling some type some of way. Type I, don't of I don't know. By the way, first of all, if you see why like I have this thing on my eye, it's because I have a freaking pimple on top of my eyelid. Like who gets that? I don't I don't understand. So I have Neosporin on my eye, um, my hair's a mess, and I've been feeling, feeling some, type some type of way. way. That is largely due to the fact that I am on my period, and it is not fun, and I've been feeling ugh. So I thought that something that can make me not feel bleh is just recording, because when I record myself, I tend to be the better version of myself, so you guys don't see my ugly side. Yep. Anyways, um, <clears throat> now I'm wearing a sundress from my closet, obviously, where else would I get it? Um, but I'm wearing it to make me hopefully feel better. But yeah. So I'm also gonna do, ooh, you can't see me. I'm also gonna do my hair and my makeup and yeah. The good thing though is that this is getting smaller. I, I tried to pop it, it um, yeah. I tried to pop it, it didn't work. It just wasn't budging, so I just let it be and now it's just, it's just chilling. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair now. We're in the bathroom now. <laughs> so, I recently created a playlist on my Spotify, which is LNM301. It's called Songs That Make Me Feel Nostalgic. And basically, we all know I love songs from back in the heydays of my parents. And I love music from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Like, I feel like 80s specifically was true prime time of music. And the 90s was prime time of fashion. And the 70s was just, I think, you know, when music in general was like blew up. But okay, enough of my analysis on music. So some of the songs I have here are from Anani by Nature, Tears for Fears, Ice Cube, um, Got Some Mariah Carey, Tabarets, Bee Gees, Al Green, all that good jazz. So we're going to play the first song on this playlist, which y'all should listen to, called Hip Hop Hooray! <laughs> Alright, sorry, I had to change the filter on this camera because I was looking orange. Um, but yeah, so now we're on portrait mode. Anyways, back to the music. Alright guys, I did my hair, I did my makeup. Now one final thing I want to put on my face before I do something else is... I got this Mario Badescu uh, face mist and, you know, it was only $5 at Anthropology. So I thought, why not? And like, whew, man, I just feel reborn. reborn. It's supposed to, oh, some going in my mouth. Oh God. Weather spreads for a hydrating boost or midday pick-me-up. This cult favorite face mist helps revive dehydrated skin with a dewy glow anytime, anywhere. Um, so honestly, like, it feels good on my face. It smells good. It's rose water with aloe and herbs. Um, it feels good. Unfortunately, when I put this in my bag, somehow it leaked, so all this went away. Alright, so next thing I'm gonna do is, I think I just need to meditate. You know, I feel like when people are really deep in thoughts, they just need to go somewhere where it's nice and, you know, breezy and just really clear their head. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go outside, I'm gonna sit on a towel on the middle of my grass of my lawn, and I'm just going to freaking meditate. I see my grandmother's already outside. What's she doing? I think she's just staring into the abyss. All right, let's join her. Wanna say hi, Lola? Hi. Say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> what? Okay, that's it. I'm bored. I am currently reading <clears throat> Pride and Prejudice. I already read this before, but you know, to make me feel like in a really good mood, I feel like I should just read the books I really like to read, you know? 
are like my favorite books I've already read. That is design settling here. Design? Nonsense. How can you talk so? But it is very likely that he may fall in love with one of them and therefore you must visit him as soon as he comes. Well, do you think my accent is good? Yeah. You think it's good? My accent? My British accent? Oh, you sounded like English. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going for. I don't know what the name is after I just hear it. Like, hello. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> It was getting really hot outside. All right, so as you can see, I'm here in my room. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys the main reason I wanted to make this video. So lately, I've just been feeling really weird where it's like the world is just, it just sucks and you can't do anything about it. And so you just feel like shit. It's kind of how I feel like right now. Oh, by the way, I'm helping make this tribute video for my grandmother's 90th birthday. So I've been editing that. That's been really fun. And I'm not even stressed out about that. I'm not even stressed out about my internship or anything. I'm just stressed and I don't know why. That's actually the original reason why I even made this YouTube channel was just to, you know, release some tension. Another thing too is that I haven't worked out as religiously as I did like a few weeks ago. You know, it's like, I want to work out. My my brain is telling me, like, you should work out. My body is like, no. Uh, should I make the cheese bread or not? Ah, fuck it. Alright, so it's like around dinner time-ish, um, and you know, my mind's constantly on food, so my parents thought it'd be a really great idea um, to get some banchan, because banchan's always a great idea. If you don't know what banchan is, it's this Korean fried chicken place that's so freaking good. It's probably not the best in the US, because I'm pretty sure California has a lot of good uh, Korean fried chicken places, but it's all we got here in New England. I need to start working out again. Okay, listen, I plan to start working out after this thing that's going on with me is, you know, over. So I'll get back on it. But honestly, I don't usually eat like this, okay? I don't eat this crazy, um, you know, I'll show you what I typically eat in a day. I'll make a video on that some other time. But yeah, don't worry, I am not this unhealthy. Usually. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we got the soy garlic wings and we also got the kimchi bacon fried rice. Fun little story, when I was still in school, you know, when COVID wasn't a bitch yet, um, every night when it was like a Golden State Warrior game, because that's my favorite team, um, I'd always like order takeout from like by Chloe and get the oh so fancy fries. It's this vegan place if you don't know. But I go back to my dorm with my earbuds in and I just like watch the game. And you know, nine out of ten times they'd always lose. But you know, it's it's all about supporting your favorite team. And that was something I really look forward to every night after class. All right. So before I wrap this whole entire vlog up, one thing I do want to mention is that I bought something. I bought something and um. So I got this Johnny Depp sweater from H&M. It was only seven dollars. It was on clearance, and I got it. I honestly, I am very surprised. I actually did get it because never did I expect to get a man's like entire face on a sweater, and never did I man like imagine I'd spend monetary value to obtain said sweater. So yeah, here we are. But let me just say, I think Johnny Depp has clearly defined my type. I'm really into tattoos, I recently have discovered. Um, I mean, it's not like a deal breaker, but I mean, tattoos are 
quite nice. But yeah, if I can find a guy like Johnny Depp, that would that would be very ideal. And if he somehow liked me back, that would also be very ideal. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap this up. But thank you for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry if I was a little weirder, um, a little more annoying than I usually am. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. And yeah, bye.